Good morning, my name is Denise. Thank you for having me here at the International Conference of Tissue Engineered Heart Valves and Heart Valve Society Conference. Today, I will be presenting on the hydrodynamic assessment of a small intestinal submucosa tubular mitral valve. Heart valves help us maintain proper direction of blood flow in and out of each chamber. Our heart has four valves consisting of flaps that open and close during each heartbeat. Cardiovascular diseases in general is the number one killer in the world. In the United States alone, more than 25,000 people die from heart diseases each year, and it costs us around $23.4 billion annually. Causes of heart valve diseases include congenital valve defects, calcification, tumor, and valve degeneration. These can happen to all four valves. Due to limited options available, especially for pediatric patients, research is developing heart valves with regenerative capacities that provide growth, repair, and hopefully a more permanent approach. Pieces, or porcine small intestinal submucosa, is an available option that's FDA approved and already used for cardiovascular applications. There is also evidence showing native cell infiltration and remodeling. Core Matrix has developed a tubular or cylindrical shaped valve made of pieces material. It has an acellular extracellular matrix and is being applied in the tricuspid position. This is an example of a pediatric patient, an 11 year old boy. The first video on the top left shows a tumor on the tricuspid valve. In the second video, the original valve is removed and the papillary muscles are identified. The third video shows a core matrix tubular valve placed in the tricuspid position. To the right is an echocardiogram of the tubular valve in place. When the tricuspid and mitral valves are closed, there is very little flow around them. This is an echo of another pediatric patient at peak ventricular systole. The echo was taken a year after implantation and the valve is still functioning great. This indicates that the host tissue is most likely growing and that the valve has regenerative capacities. Now we want to look at pieces valves in the mitral position. Currently, we are using a baboon model to implant handmade pieces tubular valves. On the left hand side, we can see the making of a tubular shaped pieces valve to the right, the valve is being secured onto the papillary muscles with plagette strips. Here we see that image A shows an unimplanted raw pieces scaffold. And to the right, image B is an explanted pieces valve after 90 days of implantation. We can see that baboon cells have populated the pieces scaffold, therefore indicating cell infiltration. Based on previous studies, we know that echo outcomes of core matrix's tubular pieces valves in the tricuspid position are favorable and known. We would like to further assess their functionality in the mitral position. The objective of this study is to conduct hydrodynamic testing of core matrix's cylindrical pieces valves in the mitral position and compare their performance with a clinically available bileaflet mechanical valve. To proceed with hydrodynamic testing, we are using a vivitro pulse duplicator device. It is a system that simulates the left side of the heart and consists of a ventricular chamber, atrium, and aortic load assembly. The system allows placement of aortic and mitral valves. Three pressure transducers are placed in the aortic, ventricular, and atrial positions, and a flow probe is attached in either the mitral or aortic location. To secure the valve in the vivitro system, we 3D printed a valve holder using TPU. The valve is sutured around the annulus in two posts at 150 degrees apart to simulate the anterior and posterior leaflets. These are the videos of the mitral valve in the vivitro pulse duplicator. The pressure and flow graphs are displayed as above. Left-hand side shows data from the tubular pieces valve, and right-hand side is the bileaflet mechanical valve. As you can see, the flow in light blue color is almost zero when the valve is closed in both cases. The values for volumetric flow rate, effective orifice area, 
pressure gradient and regurgitation factor are comparable between the two valves with little or mild regurgitation rate. Some pitfalls and limitations include not having plagetted strips to secure the valve onto the holder, annulus was not completely sealed around the sutures, and the annulus only had one circumferential anchorage point, which may have caused an overestimation of regurgitation. Overall, the tubular pieces valves appear to facilitate robust hydrodynamic valve function in the tricuspid position based on clinical data, and potentially in the mitral position based on preliminary hydrodynamic data. Pieces material also serves as a scaffold for de novo valvular tissue growth. As shown to the right is a photograph of an explanted pieces valve from a baboon model after 11 months of implantation we can see that the pieces valve is smoothly attached to the chordae tendon. Some future works include increasing in sample size, finding new anchorage points for suturing, and sealing the annulus. We are also looking into hydrodynamic testing in the tricuspid and aortic positions. To simulate the trileaflet aortic valve, we will be using a valve holder with three posts at 120 degrees apart. This is a video of the cylindrical pieces valve in the aortic position in the vivitral pulse duplicator. Special thanks to Assad Mirza. Assad is the other first author of this project. He was involved with data collection, data processing, and he also helped put this presentation together. We both work in Dr. Ramaswamy's lab at Florida International University. I'd also like to thank Dr. Robert Matheny for supporting us and making this project possible. Last but not least, I'd like to thank Dr. Ramaswamy's lab at FIU and ICTEV HVS 2020 conference. Thank you. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment below.